Okay guys, in this video I thought I would do a little more in-depth look at creating an equipment definition using the SCT system configuration tool uh, for setting up your MUI. Uh, and of course the first thing that we will need to do, we have our system open here, we have our tabs across here. I'm going to drop down to my server and inside underneath the server I of course have an equipment definitions folder. This is where we will create our equipment definitions. So I am simply going to highlight the folder that we currently have. We already have a couple in there now and I'm going to add another one. So the way that I will do that is go up to my facilities tab I will go to prepare rapid archive and insert equipment definition. It's going to bring me a uh, pop-up screen uh, just as soon as the computer decides to work. And if I wanted to create a folder underneath it, I can do that here. I do recommend making sure that you keep things organized. So, you know, if necessary, uh, you know, create your folders, things like that. Just keep things nice and neat and it'll make it much easier for you later on down the line. We currently do not need an additional folder inside this one, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to press next and I'm going to give it a name. And that simple. I simply name it something and of course the authorization category it is HVAC equipment so I will leave it at that but I'm going to change this. This can affect how things appear inside MUI so I'm going to drop that down and change it to air handlers which is what it is. I'm not going to add a graphic now that is something that we will be doing later on in MUI. Hit next and this is just a simple review screen and I hit finish and it has now created my uh, equipment definition. So the next step in the process is I am going to double click and you can see currently there is nothing in here on this screen. I'm going to hit edit button and what I'm going to do now press the plus sign and you can see that it has populated this and this is basically what I would be uh, labeling everything, creating things like that, my individual points. We're not going to do it that way. I'm just going to hit the minus and do away with that. I'm simply going to go over to my system, drill down into the device, drop it down, go to the individual controller that I want to grab and I'm just going to drill down to a certain air handler that I want to be the base for this. So, uh, take me just a moment. And I'm going to just simply click and drag. And when I do that, it pulls all of the individual points into my screen. And I can, from this point, go in and add the points that I want to appear in MUI. I will simply click the first one, my occupancy command, and you see that it appeared down here on the lower side of the screen. I want to see my supply fan status, command, and output. I want to see my discharge air temp set point along with the discharge air temp and so on. You know, I can grab my zone temperature and if I want to move the arrangement of one of these, uh, you can see this is how they're going to display. So if I wanted to pull my zone temp up, I can simply highlight it here and I can simply bring it up just like that. And then of course, continue. Any of the points that I want to add, my damper output, uh, anything that I want, I can add that in here. I'm just going to go up and hit display data and I'm just going to grab all of these points. And of course I can move them around as I've shown previously however I want them. Now I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hit open in discovery. What this does is it brings me into this piece of equipment. You can see here if I want to add 
another device. I simply grab that device and drag it out here. And there's Air Handler 2, Air Handler 3, Air Handler 4, and so on. This is how we add the equipment summaries for this. I'm going to grab, uh, and just to keep them in order, I'm going to grab Air Handler 5, Air Handler 6, Air Handler 7, and of course, Air Handler 8. We're going to add them into this. Okay, and now that it's added, I just hit save. And you can see here, it says I have not mapped any serving relationships for all this equipment. And do I want to continue any? Anyways, I'm going to hit save. And yes, I do. The serving relationships are going to be if you have a uh, air handler uh, serving a VAV. Let's go and look at something that we have done in another building. Okay, if I go into the air handler for this building, and again, another way to get into the open discovery is I can simply right click and open in discovery. And that's going to bring me into this window. The serving relationships are the equipment that this air handler would serve. For example, this particular air handler is going to serve VAVs within the building. I can drop this list down and here is a list of all of those VAVs that this particular air handler serves. That is something that you can add and modify from this screen here. That's something that you will need to remember going forward. And it makes your MUI system work much better. And I want you to notice over underneath the equipment tab when I drop it down inside here this is where it will create equipment definitions for each of those units that I added, as you can see here, all the way down through. Okay? Anyways, guys, I hope that this is helpful. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. Be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Check out the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.